what's up everybody welcome back to the epic 9 gaming channel today is episode 2 of the exuminati mod pack let's play series um today i've been not today but things i've been doing it uh, you know i've been doing some things and i've been recording like little li time lapses basically i'm mean, just doing normal things that you would do in minecraft like chopping trees down um not really mining because I didn't want to really record, record mining because mining isn't the most best thing until I get the hammer which uh, you know uh, I'm going to talk about the thing that I made the tool forge and I finished the tinker smeltery which is complete and then I found a bunch of um, uh, ore berry bushes which hurt when you bump into them um, but yeah, I've been collecting their little ore berries. Each of them is like a nugget, um, like a bit, like a nugget, you know, like a gold nugget and they have iron nuggets and aluminum, 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 same thing. Um, uh, iron, here we got some iron and then these are still growing. Okay, we got that. Yeah, basically they just grow and we have eight more, which you know, I'm going to make a farm from an automatic farm once, once, you know, I get like a harvester, I think you need. And, you know, if you have a harvester, you need power, but you know, that'd be in the future. That'd be, that'd be later on. Right now is the starting thing. Let's get better tools. Let's get to the nether. Let's get some cool stuff in the nether and stuff like that. But, you know, I've been doing some other things up on the surface. Um, you know, I've been filling this whole thing with lava because that's actually one of the reasons I kind of built near here. I was like, ooh, lava pool. It's built near there, but it is dangerous. But, you know, it'll be easier to get this uh, pumping. You know, we got uh, a few gold, uh, iron, obsidian. Yeah, I put obsidian here because I needed to make aluminite. I don't know. I forgot why I needed to make that, but I made it for some reason. I forgot. But yeah, um, I got the obsidian. I just need some flint. We're gonna go into the nether. But before that, I you guys, I need to show you guys what I've been doing. Um, um, I found a king slime. So yeah, I'm gonna show you that. So here we go.
right guys welcome back to um the the actual video um like i hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of me fighting that king slime and i got an award for it basically i got the long sword um the um king slime long sword it is a slimy tool it is from tinker's construct so you know it could be upgraded but um it upgrades itself the more we use it um, and I did use it a little bit when uh, I was, you know, doing some little tidbits off screen, you know, doing some things and this upgraded. This actually upgraded in a weird manner. Like I was chopping trees down and it didn't upgrade and then I hit a mob with it and it upgraded. So it just needed a little bit of XP or a little bit of just using it in any manner to upgrade. So I upgraded to um, reinforced one. It's stonebound. I'm pretty comfortable with it now. Um... And then the broadsword stayed pretty much the same. I think it's still it's a critical strike, and I'm comfortable at it. Um, the shovel uh, it upgraded to auto repair, but I think I already showed you guys that. I'm not sure, but yeah, auto repair. And my pickaxe, I mastered that thing, just incredibly fast. Um, but the other things that I was gonna show you that I did off camera and off the screen and everything, were I made this alumin alumite alumite um pickaxe and then i made this item magnet and the cool thing about this sword is that i upgraded it upgraded to luck which gives looting one uh looting one is pretty cool because you get you know i mean just looting basically gives you more stuff i killed an enderman i got two ender pearls and you need an ender pearl to make this item magnet it's from the pa practicality mods it's um it's pretty cool you know you turn it on um uh, shift right click and it picks up all your items uh, it picks up any item I think in a four block distance like automatically so if you're breaking a block from this distance um, you're gonna get it immediately so if you're like far away kind of far away like four blocks away you can get it uh, let me let me see if I can do with this yep see immediately in my inventory I don't like diorite <laughs> uh, let's, see, let's, um, let's turn that off because it gets kind of annoying sometimes when you're trying to throw blocks away but yeah it's pretty cool um what we're gonna do now is go into the nether and one thing i'm missing is some flint and steel here let me um let me let me what was i gonna do okay i was gonna hide these oh uh, okay hide these these in here uh leave the casting in here and that is that that's a weird um yeah i need to make another chest um, here, let's make another chest because it's kind of um, getting annoying that I have so much items. I need to make uh, a storehouse eventually. You know, I don't like that <laughs> that, that that chest. All right, um, here, let's break. Where's my pick? Uh, this one. This All right, um, put that right here. We can put all these ores in there because I don't need these ores at the moment. All the even the string lapis uh redstone i'm gonna need the portable table still just in case we need to do something with it uh leave my bed up here i'm not really going far away um what is it that i need i need some iron um so let's get some iron uh yeah i grabbed it all <laughs> whatever um what else do i need uh we need to get flint i think i have flint in one of these chests yeah i got some flint right here um and we need to make a flint and steel it is kind of laggy uh it's probably because i'm recording it does that from time to time it's like the frames just drop but i've kind of learned how to deal with it i've had worse where it was completely unplayable um but where should we make the portal i think it, we should make it you want know to just make it inside screw it let's make it on the inside um i don't really like coming outside very much because the horde of mobs that just come out of nowhere all right let's dig into the wall in here and after that we can make like a little area where we can make the portal um so we need three high uh doo -doo 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 -doo. and then two right here um now we need to get the obsidian i got a lot of obsidian because i'm eventually i'm gonna have to make more alum aluminite uh, to repair the um, pickaxe once it it starts messing up uh, right now I think it 
I think this one can upgrade to I think that other one that we can't get with a stone pickaxe but I'm gonna try to upgrade it to see how how the I know it has a little bit better mining speed I don't know if it does have better mining speed um hold up does it show the mining speed it does not show the mining speed but it has mining level obsidian automatically so I think it could level up from that here let's go turn on the portal and we're gonna go into the nether which is pretty cool guys uh here we go uh i got some more obsidian just in case something weird happens we're gonna be okay oh and i press t other but all right let's go into the nether let's see what we can do in the nether um i was i'm just gonna see if there's a fortress nearby because because sometimes like i'm either spawned so far away from a fortress or I can't even find a fortress or in the middle of just like a lava lake which would just be the most horrible thing ever so it, it might be laggy when we go in there because of it's you know first time downloading the, the terrain inside the nether plus the nether has a lot of other stuff like this stuff I forgot biomes plenty is a part of the nether as well so we're gonna have like these biomes too like in the nether but you know, I like them. They're pretty cool. Alright, please, please be something cool. I mean, please be another fortress nearby. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. We have those things up in there. And then there's a ghast. Uh, do you have my bow? Do I have my bow? Yeah, but no arrows. Whatever, whatever. Alright, whatever, whatever. Okay. Let's. Try to see if we can find a fortress just nearby. Um, I think that's like blood. I know this is flesh. Literally flesh. Okay, some endstone. That'd be nice. Um, I think endstone is pretty useful for some things. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, here we got some redstone, some wood, some sticks, um, some of that, sand or any sand, some food. It's a cool thing about those those chests. Um, you find some really cool, weird, and mysterious items. Uh, do, 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 do. Some more beef and some junk. I'm on fire and I'm on fire. How how did I how did I go on fire? They already looked. Yeah, I already looked in that one. Um, probably looked in this one already too. But let's give it another look. Nope, it has nether brick. I think that's used for. I think I'm gonna need another brick eventually too for like I think it's a uh, one of the machines. Uh, um, what is that? It's cobalt. We cannot mine cobalt yet. Um. Well, I think soon enough we'll be able to mine cobalt. Um. But yeah, we we know where cobalt is if we need it. It's nearby. All right. Let's get some of the. Let's get some of this. Let's get some some of this um, quartz because eventually we're gonna need quartz for something. I know we're gonna need quartz for something, and it's it's always good to have it. Just a little bit laying around, you know. If we need to make a machine, so we don't always have to come to the Nether for a bunch of things. What is this? Oh, it's a large bone thingy, a bobber. All right, we have some chests over here. Try to try not to fall in there. Make some wood, some more, and potatoes. I know I'm picking up mostly everything, but it's it's all right, you know. It'll just get the things we can get, and maybe we can find a fortress nearby. I don't know. We do quartz, quartz berry seeds. I think that's useful. Okay, okay. Maybe that'll be useful. Um, do you have anything else? Um. Uh, we can't see a fortress to the to the eye. We cannot see a fortress. But one thing that I need to do is find a fortress because that'd be useful, very useful. Okay, our portal I think is over that little hill or over this little hill. Wait, yeah, our portal's right there over that little hill. I know I need to eat. I need to eat. <laughs> um, I tend to forget that I didn't eat. Um, but. Yeah, let's let's run through here. Um, 
Um. Oh my gosh, some of that. I know this is ash block, and then that's the volcanic dirt or smoldering grass. So that burns. That catches people on fire. So let's not go over there. Um, you know, I don't have the, like, uh, I don't have the exploding ores or anything. You know, it's not like that. Hold up. And gas is flying around, and that's something weird that I don't want to fight. All right. Um, let's get, let's go back up. Let's go back out. See, let's get a better view. Maybe my render distance is pretty set. It's set pretty low because it starts lagging even worse, and it's just the worst thing ever. Here, let's jump up here. Oh, I picked up chunks of. Ugh. All right, let's go back on the overworld because I, I I feel like we're not gonna be able to find it unless we just go for go to explore. All right, we need to get through this. Can we can we mine this smoldering grass? Okay, it just turns into dirt. It's so whatever. Um, we just want to get through all this. Um. All right, let's get through here. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I I didn't expect this. I didn't expect. The the biomes are plenty. I forgot about the bio. Oh, and I'm fire. I'm on fire. Okay. Um, I didn't expect. I forgot about the biomes are plenty biomes in the Nether. Um, I thought this was just gonna be all Netherrack because I remember just it being all Netherrack because uh, last time I played I didn't have biomes plenty on this. I just had the biomes XL, and the biomes XL is only overworld biomes and biomes are plenty adds biomes in the Nether as well. We're in a visceral heap. I don't know something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be right back, guys, uh, and I'm gonna find a fortress. If I can't find a fortress, I guess we're gonna be doing the other thing that I was gonna do today, and that's make the better tools. The hammer, excavator, and lumber axe, which is gonna be so awesome because they are cool. So yeah, let's go back into the overworld. <sighs> Alright, guys, we have made it back to the overworld. That was quick. Um... But yeah, now we're gonna have, now we're gonna actually make the level, um, the level two. But uh, we're gonna make the better tools. Um, the better tools are, um, I made the patterns before already. So we needed um, a tough tool, the tough tool rod. No, that's a sword blade. Looks kind of like okay, that's the normal tool rod. And then we get that, and then the hammer. We're gonna make the hammer first because the hammer is a beast. And the hammer is gonna be out of stone because you know making the stone stuff is way better. Do we have stone? Here? Yeah, we already stone. All right, we're gonna make the stone head. All right, and then we're gonna make the tough tool rod, and then we're gonna make the creeper if we need two of them. So that'd be fine. And then we need to put this back. No, we put the. The pattern back, and now we're gonna be making uh, the actual thing. So we need the both creeper heads in the little pit, the little space. We put the hammer head, and then we put this, and we I have our stone hammer, which is gonna be a beast now. And uh, yeah, next one is the um, what's it called again? The lumber axe. The lumber axe needs. Okay, it needs. We already have a pattern for that. We need a pattern for the little axe head part and then the tough binding. So we need to make those. And do I have any? I don't think I have any. All right, so let's make some of those. Um, I don't. I didn't think I had some on me. Some blank patterns. Um, but yeah, we're gonna make some patterns for them. So we need the little axe head and then we need the. Uh, I think the big one the tough binding um now we can put it into into here grab that and uh, put this into here grab that I'm also gonna make it out of out of stone cuz you know I want to make it out of stone it's cheap and everything so yeah okay, we got that and then it needs a creeper one too 
I think it does. It, it makes it needs to be put. All right, so that's good. And now we can actually make it. Uh, okay, we need the lumber axe part, the um, the tough tool rod, uh, not tough tool, tough binding, and then we need the creeper head. And bam, we have our lumber axe. And it could possibly replace that if we don't need to cut down a big tree and everything. But it's pretty much gonna cut down an entire tree so we can go to that jungle and cut down every single tree um but yeah um we need the excavator next and it's the same it's the same thing we just need to make one more uh pattern for it and that's the little uh excavator um pattern head and then we can put it in the, in the pattern chest um then we can make it in the part builder so we need another binding i think yeah another binding uh let's see do we need another binding Okay, we need another binding, another creeper head, another tough tool rod. Alright, so we go to the part builder, and we get uh, tough tool rods. We get one of those. And it does use a lot of cobblestone, so let's fill that up quickly. Alright, um, we got the tough tool rod. We need the binding. We need the <laughs> excavator head. And then we need a creeper face, I think, for that one, too. So we got a creeper face for it and now we can put it into here so we can put the little shovel part the excavator part the creeper face the binding and the tough tool rod and bam we have our excavator all right i'm gonna show you guys how this works all right so we got we got this three by three and then bam it wrecks three by three three by three so um this is a very powerful tool once it's upgraded to it to max, once I master it, um, it's gonna be a pretty powerful tool. Now the excavator is pretty much the same; it just does dirt and sand. And it's morning. How beautiful! Look at the sun, guys. All right. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah. Basically the same. So let's clear out this three by three. Bam. This three by three here. Bam. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It. It's a, it's a very powerful tool as well if you're gonna gather a lot of dirt or a lot of sand or anything I think that moves like dirt and sand no no I think gravel as well so and I might work on mud too I'm not sure how which which um, one but I know it works on uh, dirt and sand and possibly gravel and now the lumber axe here we go I'm show you how the lumber axe works um, we need a big tree a big tree big tree big tree that tree over there should we, should we just go over there to that big tree here let's go to that big tree over here oops uh, took some damage whatever I got seven mutton I can heal myself it heals myself. whatever um but yeah we can go over to this big tree let's see if we can cut it down I'm not sure we're gonna be able to cut the whole thing down it might be like because I think only cuts down like straight up trees or something I don't know oh and there's a skeleton over there we're gonna take him out with the sword yeah then it hit me Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. <sighs> Maneuver. Alright, there you go. You dead now. Alright. Who oh, crap. I didn't think it was going to be this low. Alright, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Let's get down here. And let's cut this tree down. I'm not sure where the... There it is. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so cool. Watch. Watch this, guys. This is going to be so awesome. That entire little... Entire little... Watch this the whole entire one these are quarter logs so they're way bigger and right there where's the quarter logs did I pick them up and it upgraded that's insane and I'm getting a tons and tons of lag for some reason um oh it's broken already <laughs> it broke already it couldn't br break a big tree yet and I just went ahead and was like you know what let's go break a big tree you know it'll be fun no um I think it couldn't take the big tree so um yeah oh crap there's a there's a let's use the broadsword whatever let it upgrade no 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 it didn't upgrade um but yeah it, it broke immediately one because you know it's a really big tree two I just went ahead I was like you know what let's cut a bound big tree you know big tree big tree I can handle it and I think I didn't even pick up all the wood I'm not even sure but yeah that's basically it it could it does cut down big trees 
but I'm kind of dumb for just going ham on it, you know, ham on a big tree. Um, yeah, let's let's get back to the base and let's you know repair it. Cause is this a, a repairing station? It is. Look, and it takes a bunch of times to do it. So it's better to, to, to divide it like this, and then keep repairing it like this, or getting um, what's it called again um compressed cobblestone that also works here let's try on a smaller tree let's 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 cut down all these rubber trees because eventually we're gonna need this rubber tree for the minecraft the minecraft reloaded um thing so here we go we can take out we don't need the bone uh we don't need this cobblestone and we're good uh we can pick up the sapling too right uh what do we don't need what do we don't need we don't need that dirt all right yeah, it, it, it cuts down trees pretty fast. See, there you go. Uh, here, another rubber tree. It's going to be slow for the beginning because due to its uh, stoniness, <laughs> stoniness, its um, stone level, it is going to uh, break blocks very slowly. Once it upgrades even more, um, as you see, it upgraded earlier ago, a few minutes, a few, <laughs> a few moments ago, it upgraded to auto repair. Um, so it's slowly going to repair itself, but it's not going to repair itself like in seconds or not you know it's gonna take a while for it to repair itself but i don't think it'll be repairing enough like fast enough the way we're just breaking it um why is this not uh, oh it didn't break the whole thing all right whatever um yeah and i think it's early levels it won't break the whole thing or i'm not really sure how that works i really need to read the the wiki on how these tinkers tools work actually i i never read anything i'm just like um, I see in a video or I try it out once and I'm like, oh, I guess I can do that. Um, but yeah, I need to pick up all these saplings. Uh, I'll pick it up later. But yeah, those are the the, um, the better tools. Um, the tools that are used to get more items. Um, so I'm actually going to go mining with these. Like, I'm going to mine with the hammer and see how far I can go, you know, how much things I can get, you know. And I'm gonna keep using this thing to see how how much you can upgrade it. Even if it can upgrade to a better mining level, like even cobalt. I don't I don't think it can go up to cobalt. I think it can go to that other one that can mine that other weird colored. I think it was like I don't know how to pronounce it. The purple one. Uh, here, let's search it up real fast. Tinker tools. No, no, I just put tinker. Tinker construct. There you go. All right, where is it? Where is use? Um, uh, where is it? Malarium, malarium. Yeah, malarium. I don't know how to say that. But I think iodite is the level of mining. Like we can get to that point where we can mine that. I'm not sure we can even mine that. I think it's another ore. Um, I think the same thing for this one. Oh no, actually this is a mixture of cobalt in that. So. I forgot how to get this. I think we need to get erudite first, but I'm I'm not sure what which uh, material can can mine that. I think it's this material. I'm not sure. I may have been mistaken, but I I'm, I think I heard. Maybe I got confused with these two because they still both start with A. But yeah, eventually I'm gonna see how I'm, how good it upgrades. But next time I'm gonna be doing some way more things. Um, on the next episode, um we're gonna be doing a lot more basically because in this episode you know i i um got distracted not distracted but you know that king slime and then i was like i need to go to the nether so i need to kind of make not an episode about it but a little thing about making the nether like me going into the nether for the first time and also upgrading to the better tools so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this episode um but yeah, uh, next episode is going to be way better. You know, I'm going to start uh, showing you guys all the upgrades that I got and anything I found. Oh, and also a fortress. So uh, next time, I'm going to see if I can find a fortress. Actually, I'm going to try to find the fortress off screen. Um, also, I'm going to be doing some other things. What's it called again? Um, yeah, upgrading my tools and then getting into what mod was it? Um... Uh, getting something that I need oh yeah getting some wither skulls so I can get the belt the belt of flight because I'm gonna need this belt of flight to fly basically um, and the belt of flight 
In the advanced belt, you need to make another star. Another not make make another star. You can't you can make another star, but that's only in uh creative no creative and peaceful mode. Um so we need to kill a weather base to get, to get the nether star and, and the other things are pretty simple to get. Once we get the advanced belt, we can add um what's it called again? The basic belt is easy to make. You just put you just add one of those and then you add feathers to it. And bam, we have the um belt of flight. That's one thing I need because it's gonna be way easier to get through the nether with it. And also I need to make another weapon called the cleaver or something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna make that uh off screen and then I'll try to see if we can find a fortress and then we can kinda kill some wither skeletons and I'll probably do that in like a little time lapse or something. Um but yeah uh, we need that because to find other biomes, other places, cool places basically, and then also build the base, like a big base up on top. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to build my base. I'm thinking about building something pretty cool like a big castle with all the, all the, all the mod stuff in it. And they're going to, each level is going to be like a different mod and a different like, you know, uh, machine, you know, all working together to make. Uh, all the materials in the game not all the materials, but you know basically making an abundance of everything, you know uh, Farming sheep farming everything that you can farm in the game uh, You know my my plan for this series is to automate and make everything easy and simple and Do the end game stuff, you know uh, hardcore ender expansion all that stuff because I added hardcore ender expansion because um, I was like I need something after the Ender Dragon fight, you know, um, I was like, I need something cool, you know, something awesome, something that, um, I didn't think, and also the Runic Dungeons and the Aether too, um, we need to get some glowstone so we can make the Aether, we can make the Aether portal right here, um, so it's gonna be really cool guys, I have a lot of, pl a, a lots of things planned for this series, um, I hope everybody has a good day, or a night, or whenever anybody's watching this, or watching this in the future when um you know this thing is old and stuff but yeah basically this series is pretty cool you know i didn't think i was gonna make a modded series so here we go guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and like always thanks for <laughs>